The Sesh Podcast, episode 132, take one. Hi, friends, and welcome to The Sesh. I am Janelle, joined by Corelli and Sydney per usual. What is up, festy besties and all the resties? Ooh, that was fun and fresh for me. I like that. Thank I like that you. a lot. That's good. Anything That's good. else? Did you forget your uh, your co-host? Oh, and my dog Charles is here. He's already sleeping. Are we surprised? No, he is fucking always asleep by the time we start recording. It's very, very rude. He's here because Kendall is not this week. Kendall and Josh are on um, vacation. And so we are here to hold down the fort and provide you with another episode of the greatest, the most wonderful, the most interesting, the most profound, the most immaculate the most what's another adjective funny funny the most perfect 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 podcast podcast in the the world folks (laughs) oh god we're unhinged today i've had half a fucking truly and i'm off my rocker you guys are trying to get me to take shots of tequila before recording this can we tell them why because okay yeah i almost died i had to go to the hospital almost had to like cancel the whole show and i'll tell you why In Colorado, I think this happens in other states too, but it's definitely happening in Colorado. Every year between May and June, we have what I call moth season. Moth season happens because these stupid uh, (laughs) nasty... She pulled up a picture of them just now on the fucking screen. I just don't even want to look. I'm sorry. God. <laughs> they these stupid Miller moths come flying through the state around this time, and it's really bad this year. It's the worst since I can remember, like when I was a kid. They're going to the mountains. They're going up to the mountains, but um, it takes them about a month to get their dumbasses up there, and they are fucking everywhere. You guys, I'm not kidding you. John and I, and I'm sorry if you are against killing bugs. I am not, and it's just <laughs> is what it is. John and I have to take care of like 11 a day or something. 11, that's a really specific number. (laughs) That's because the first night that they happened, we had 11 of them in our house. We have so many in our house. They're fucking everywhere. They're everywhere outside and they're everywhere in the studio, you guys. Everywhere. Or in the office in general. It's disgusting. Like literally all week long, I come in and there's like so many dead ones on the ground. There's so many dead ones over on the other side of the room right now, over on the mile higher set. Uh, like below the sign I think they're really attracted to the neon sign and we usually just leave that thing on all the time the sign on and so I think they go over there and like buzz around until they drop dead it's literally like a <laughs> graveyard over there they're fucking everywhere in the office it's disgusting I am so repulsed by them can I just say something I think that they sense fear because they're always in your office Sydney, and in yours yeah. yeah no it's true I have not maybe it's because I don't have windows but I don't have moths in my office but I have lights like I always have my lights on I don't know why, but they are all over my office and we have been taking care of so many of them every single day. And earlier today, I was just sitting at my chair, minding my own beeswax when all of a sudden I feel this nasty fluttering on my leg and I like jump up and it's a fucking moth crawling on my leg. I'm pretty sure I never actually saw it because I like jumped out of my skin. Um, But yeah, it's just so bad. And then there's one like flying above my head and you can't see it. But in the ceiling right here, there's a like small hole in the ceiling and it was flying around and all of a sudden it like crawled back up in the hole. And so it's just sitting up there waiting to to kill me, waiting for its opportunity to attack. And I'm just very on edge, very on edge. Um, So, yeah, the reason why all of that to be said is because the reason why she wanted me to take a tequila shot was so that I would chill out because I had just gotten attacked by a moth. But um, I know that I'll just get tired if I do that. So instead, we're here, truling it up. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. We have trulies. We all have a little cocktail. It's also Thursday, which is not our our normal recording day. Yeah, it's throwing me off. It's at the end of the week. This week is an off week, so we're not not uploading an episode. Next week, I'll be gone because I'm uh, moving. So anyways, I'm basically pre-recording this so we can upload it next week. That literally doesn't matter to you guys. You probably don't care. But um, yeah, that's kind of the dealio. So anyways, there's moths everywhere. <laughs> um, 
And yeah, I don't know what else to do. I'm just so petrified of them. I think they're literally the most disgusting things in the world. And Sydney also agrees. Like she's even worse than I am. She makes me come and kill them all. Yeah, they're really, I don't know why. They just like, they look so nasty. And then the, I feel like they fly towards your face. No, they do. Cause they're dumb as fuck. And they like, don't know how to handle themselves. Okay. Stop with the moth slander here, guys. No. I just honestly. You called it dumb too before we started recording. I have a, I have a tattoo of a moth. I, I know, but just so, but then you hate moths. So it doesn't I don't hate sense. moths. I don't, I mean, I don't hate, I don't love them, Ugh. but I don't hate them. And Sick. I mean, I'll kill a moth. They're annoying. They're dumb. I think they're stupid as yeah, fuck. Stu- it's don't stressing slander. me out that there's just so many in here. There's like, so many. I, it blows my mind, like in this office and in the door. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ugh. I showed you guys the video of my friend's apartment, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm sure she doesn't mind me sharing. The moths nested in the air vents. And now every time they turn on the air vents, like tens of 20s of 30s so of moths come flying out. Should be illegal. She sent me a video and there was like literally like 20 moths oh, in her bedroom. That is flying so around. gross, dude. No. I keep seeing these, um, all these videos on TikTok of people like going into their house and like the doorway of the house is oh. filled with moths or... No. I don't know, just like rooms full of moths and it's really bothering me. I hate them so much. They're so disgusting to me. I'm so afraid of them. I just hate all bugs pretty much. Um, Yeah, I'm like afraid of every single bug. bug except hater. for, yeah, I'm a bug hater. Except for bees. For some reason, they don't bother me, which they sting and I've been stung a million times and wasps, like I don't, not a fan of them, but they don't really bother me. But any other bug, I just cannot. Not a, No fear of any animal. No fan of, I mean, no fear of snakes. No fear of rodents. In fact, I like them. I like snakes. I think they're cute. Ew. I love lizards. I love all animals, but I fucking hate bugs so much. The way you are about moths is the way I am about wasps. So I can, you cannot oh, do a wasp. I cannot even be near wasp. I will freak out. See, like I'm, I'm out of the. I'm out of the vicinity. This is going to be a problem in like a month. Okay, so never you, last okay, summer. I have. Okay, so I've helped you guys out with these moths. You better, you guys oh, better I help will. me out. I will. I will help you with the wasps. I don't like them. I'm not really afraid of wasps. They um, scare me. They're just like assholes. Yeah. But for some reason, they don't gross me out in the same way that moths do. Like oh, moths no. just gross me out. I hate how they have like powder on them. And I know it's like pollen or whatever, but I it's just... It's just dust. Ugh, it's so, it's so sick. I don't know if I've said this before on the show, but as a kid, one of my dad's friends told me that if the moth dust gets in your you eyes, tell me it'll blind you. So for the oh longest time, so for the longest time, I was like really scared of them. I'm over it now. I learned that. I learned that it, it doesn't. It, it's just it's, dust. It's fine. Oh no. Oh my god. I saw this other TikTok. People in Vegas tell me if this is true. Um, that right now in Vegas, there's grasshoppers. Like oh, oh like locusts? everywhere. No grasshoppers are everywhere they're like flying around Ooh. they're like all over the ground in the parking lot so it looked like it was like snowing grasshoppers okay and that's Which I actually, worse than moths i act no i think that's worse i think that's worse i think because i hate grasshoppers Ooh. too yeah. and crickets <sighs> dude i used to work at PetSmart. that was my first job and um they sell crickets obviously to give to like lizards and shit and when you there's they have like this giant container of crickets. Ew. Yeah, the, there's like thousands of them in this like box. Has can I ask you something real quick? Working at PetSmart or yeah. Pet, whatever, have any of them like has that? Have they ever like been like released on accident? Like have they escaped? Yeah, they, yeah, they escape all the time. There's like fucking. If you go to PetSmart, I bet you you'll find like a cricket hopping around because someone will ask for them like okay i need 20 crickets or whatever so you have to go in open this thing up and there's like thousands of them and you have to reach your hand in and scoop them and then like slowly like count them and put them into a bag and (laughs) i'd be giving people what they got i would not be counting i'd be like i would literally (laughs) yeah no i would go in like scoop them up hold my breath and you can't like lose your shit in front of customers that's (laughs) really unprofesh so i would go in and like sometimes they would jump off and jump on your arm and i would be like ah, and like kind of push them off and be like ah, sorry but most of the time I, if, w- I wouldn't count like super precise i'd be like well, one two three four five six seven <laughs> and i'd like always give people a little bit of extra because i was like not about to fucking count those things it's so disgusting but yeah they would they like would um like jump out and walk around shopping yeah no they'd always be like by the fish because that's where the crickets are and um 
Dude, I'm yeah. impressed with you. That's like extremely impressive. I, I could had to never do it. Do it. I, I was, I, like, I hated the... it. I worked there for like two years. I mean, not full time. I was a student, but I would work there on like my breaks and, and summer and everything. And um, I never once like was able to get over the fear of it. I, I really hated it. But yeah, I, saw, I was, I'm impressed with myself. I don't know if I could do it anymore. I don't know how I did it. Yeah, but I loved PetSmart. I loved like feeding all the reptiles and a bearded dragon is like my dream pet. I want a bearded dragon so bad. You should get one when you move into your new house. You should that should I be your welcome home John, pet. T- John won't let me. He says no more pets. And also you the only thing is is like you have to feed them bugs ice. for a while and then oh. mice, I think. Oh. And like worms and stuff. And oh. I just can't do that. They'll be vegetarian. It's fine. Huh? I said they'll be they'll be they'll become a vegetarian. It's fine. Yeah, vegetarian. <laughs> Yeah, but that is like one of my dream pets. I would love one or an iguana. I fucking love iguanas. One time I let out a frog when I was, because you'd have to like bring the animals. The new ones? Um, No, you'd have to like bring their cages to the back and clean them once a week. So like if you opened, then you would clean reptiles. So you'd go into PetSmart at like 5.30 in the morning and bring this, the reptiles into the back room and then like take them out and clean their thing or whatever and then put them back in. and. One time I was cleaning the frogs and a frog just jumped out and I couldn't catch it. And I was like, <laughs> I was like so paranoid. And then inventory's down. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh shit. And then I finally found his ass like a few hours later. But anyways, yeah, PetSmart was a, it was a crazy job. I liked that job. That was fun. But yeah, that goes to say I love animals and hate um, bugs. Like, I don't understand how people have pet spiders. What the fuck? Have you, have you met Rosie? No, I don't even know what that is. What the hell? At the butterfly pavilion. Ew, you know how I feel about butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> my You're fear right. of butterflies is worse than my fear of moths. There's just beautiful moths. You mean, have to like, yeah. walk. No. oh, you wouldn't be able to walk in that like, hell room. No. They're all flying hell. around. No. I know, it kind of freaks hell me out no. too. I'm like, no. Ah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I could never do that. I hate butterflies. I think they're like giant scary things that just fly around and tries to try to scare you. One thing that I love is I love, um, I guess it's taxidermy, like taxidermy bugs, so like the, you know, bugs that <laughs> they put up in little, little glass boxes. Oh, okay. You like that? Yeah. Like a, okay. Like the you, museum. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I have, I have a stink bug at home. What? Yeah. Oh, it's like it's a like dead a little, one? It's like a dead gotcha. one. Yeah. But you don't think that those butterflies are beautiful? Like the ones that are nope. dead? Not even though, oh my God. Nope. They're, Disgusting. They're big <laughs> and scary. I hate them. Um. Yeah, no. One time I went to some museum as a kid on a field trip. I don't remember where the hell it was. And they were like bringing out all these things. And I was like, <laughs> what the hell is going? They, oh, I'll never forget this. The day I die, they brought out, oh, I have my hair on my legs is sticking out. They brought out these <laughs> fucking millipedes, you guys. And millipedes is another thing that I can't do. Things with Millip- multiple legs. Like it's like a centipede, but with even more. Then they're like thicker. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting gross. <laughs> I was just talking about it. So gross. People were touching it. I Ew. like wanted to die. My Ew. dad should have, or my parents should have like, like signed me out of that fucking field trip. So gross. Anyways, I don't know why you keep talking about this. Let's change the subject. Hello. Welcome. We have an excellent episode for you guys this week. Many a topics to go through. One of them I found yesterday and it is so crazy. You guys, this story that happened to these two people it is actually wild, um, and we will for sure be discussing that. I, I honestly cannot believe that this happened. It, these people got scammed so hard in like the most terrible way. So, yeah, we got all kinds of shit to go over here. Sometimes I really hate shopping for clothes because I feel like I either have to buy something super expensive that costs an arm and a leg in order to get something that's good quality or I end up buying something that is low quality and cheap and then it breaks and doesn't last a long time at all. That was until I was introduced to Kints. With Kints, I can get high quality, timeless pieces without paying the extra luxury price tag. Kints offers a range of must have items like 100% Mongolian cashmere sweaters for only 50 bucks, 100% European linen pants for 40 bucks, luxurious mulberry silk shirts for 60 bucks, Not to mention $50 Italian leather handbags and 14 karat gold jewelry from $30. And what I love is that all of their prices are 50 to 80% less than similar luxury brands. I got this really, really cute J necklace from Kins that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love how light it is. 
It doesn't feel heavy on my neck at all, but it's very good quality. I feel like I can wear it on the daily. I can shower with it. I really do enjoy it. It's so cute and it goes with everything. I also got this um, pair of leggings that are so, so soft, buttery smooth. I've never felt leggings so soft in my life and they fit really good. They make the butt look good. Can't recommend enough. And I love the fact that you can find so many different things on the same website. And it's kind of like a one-stop shop for all of your stuff, clothing, jewelry, home stuff. They even have pet stuff on there. I really, really like their selection of items and I highly recommend because they are very, very good quality items for a reasonable price. And I know you're probably wondering, how does Kints do it? How do they get such good quality items? For such good prices. And that's because they actually partner directly with top factories to cut out the cost of the middleman and pass the savings on to you. And what's even better is that Kintz only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices and premium eco-friendly fabrics and finishes. So I can feel good about getting high quality items that last longer. So shop Kintz today and discover the affordable luxury you deserve. Right now, go to kintz.com slash sesh to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash sesh for free shipping, 365 day returns. Kintz.com slash sesh. First off. Did you know that you can actually avoid a DUI if you just switch places with your dog? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but someone actually tried to do this. Um, a little CSI, if you will. This is definitely a CSI. Oh, this is a CSI. Yeah. This is a CSI. So on May 13th, a driver in Colorado, our own state here, tried to avoid a DUI arrest by swapping seats with his dog after being pulled over. So it was a Saturday night. This dude was speeding, going 50 to 30, and he was stopped by the police. And the police basically said that the guy tried to swap places with the dog who was in the passenger seat as the officer approached the car. And the officer saw the entire process and like jumping in the passenger seat and putting the dog in the driver's <laughs> seat. After he swapped places, he got out of the car on the passenger side, out of the car, and was like, oh, I wasn't driving. <laughs> <laughs> he's like no wasn't me my damn dog is that the dog <laughs> no oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, Cute. there's so many like memes over this now <laughs> oh i'm sure yeah i kind of wonder what kind of dog it was um it was a bichon <laughs> it was a bichon could you imagine charlie's in the passenger or the driver's seat and i'm like over here like yeah but yeah he literally tried to say that his dog was um driving the car so I guess the cop came up to him and was like, yo, what are you doing? Have you been drinking? And then he like started running away <laughs> and then they caught up to him, arrested his ass, took him to the hospital where he was medically clear cleared. And then he was booked in the jail on charges, including driving under the influence of alcohol and drugs and speeding and arresting, uh, resisting arrest. Jeez, have a truly and I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but worry not. The dog spent no time in jail. He was handed over to a friend of the driver while that guy was in jail. And the Facebook post from the police said, quote, the dog does not face any charges and was let go with just a warning. <laughs> Yeehaw! What a funny joke that is. The police are hilarious. Ho, 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 ha, ha, ha. Ho, 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 ha, ha, ha. Charles, you hear that? No funny ideas. You can't drive. You don't have a license. Does dog have a license? Yes, he did. Obviously. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he had a license. Um, he was paw printed instead of fingerprinted. <laughs> okay. God, I'm so funny. But yeah, that's crazy. So if you ever are driving drunk, which don't do that, because that's a stupid fucking decision and very selfish and terrible. Like but on a real you, note. What? I said like on a real yeah, note. Yeah, on a real do note. Not don't do drive. that. But if for some reason you do, just switch places with your dog. <laughs> just kidding. Don't do that. Yeah, crazy how, what people would do. Speaking of crazy people... Um, this other story, this is wild too. So basically what <laughs> happened is there was this, this all happened on the ring doorbell, by the way. Well, honestly, let's just watch the video. This will explain it well. <laughs> like, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> so basically... <laughs> This is fucking. Imagine if you saw the shit happening outside of your house. 
the way she's taking things back. I know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like she deserves employee of the year. Okay, so basically what happened is the person in the car was a dollar store employee. This all happens in California. And the guy on the bike, he's riding a bike with a basket full of items. And this Honda CUV comes like flying in and kind of like, I mean, yeah, she hits him technically. Yeah, like she definitely, but he also kind of like slammed into her. You say CUV? Yes, yeah, CUV. SUV. Oh, sorry, CRV. That's the car, SUV. CRV. CRV. Yeah. Anyways, um, but he like kind of slams into her. Let's, let's they, like, replay. They like collide. They collide. Why are you why are you making a face? I'm not making a face. I feel kind of bad for him though. They collide. I mean, no, she like ran into him. Okay, so basically what happened is this guy was stealing from the dollar store and this person in right. the car is a um employee and she's apparently chases him down and then like knocks him off his bike. And then the two of them are started fighting. He's like calling her a bitch. And then he's like trying to pick up items. And then the employee throws his bike. Um, and then like they keep yelling at each other. And apparently the guy is going to press charges for knocking him off the bike. Something, um, something I will say, though, is I think that the bike is more valuable than the goods that were stolen. And she did fuck up his bike. Well, yeah. And you also can't like hit someone. No. Yeah. No, that's like illegal. <laughs> but I was like, I saw this on Twitter and I was like, what the hell? I'm sorry, but you are not getting paid enough to, no. to, to ca like I could if I was working in retail, which when I was and people would steal, I didn't give a fuck. No, I was like, go on with your shit. Also, one thing that when I was working in retail, too, we were not allowed to. Yeah, you weren't allowed. We weren't allowed to call them out or anything because no. then it would come back on us. Yeah. So the fact that she did this, she can get in a lot of trouble for this. True. I don't know if the um the guy himself was like charged or whatever. But I feel bad for him, though, because he's like, you don't know the life. I right. Don't, you know, I don't know. I was almost like, just let him go. Also, like, he's he's obviously he's stealing food. That's, was it? Is that what that, it, was like, really it was like? It was like chips and stuff. It was like it was like, yeah. no, like, no, like Snack. every life thing, snacks, food. Mm -hmm. it, maybe it looks like it might have been like like maybe like paper towels or toilet paper or something. Mm. So it's like, obviously he's not stealing anything of like high value. Yeah, he's not like running he's, out with a TV or exactly. something. Exactly. He's stealing yeah. things that he probably might need to survive. And yeah, it's fucked up. I mean, a lot of people have to resort to yeah. stealing things because they just don't have the means to buy necessities in order to survive. And that's not that's not always their fault. No, I mean, a lot of times it's not. No, you make a good point. I was joking when she when I said she deserves employee of the month. <laughs> I think I said that and I'm joking. Oh, you said that. OK, <laughs> I mean, she 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 is doing she's, she's a good dedicated, employee, but I just think it was a little bit much. I agree. Also, situation. wait. So who's taking care of the store while she's gone? <laughs> well, was she the only one there? I mean, it's Dollar General, so probably. No, I'm sure she, there was another employee. Or Dollar Store. Okay, when's the last time you went to Dollar Store and saw more than one employee? Um, I don't know. Exactly. No, there's only yeah. ever No, there's, there's, yeah, no, there, there's usually a few people up at the front at the registers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, not the ones I go to. Well, I haven't been to a Dollar Store in a while. I know, me neither, actually. I kind of need to go back. I got some good stuff, I feel like. All our stores honestly smack. They have some, they have know, some they finds. slap hard. Slap. <laughs> um, but yeah, let us know. Would you, whose side are you on? Do you think it's good that the employee tried to stop the shoplifter or would you have just been like, okay, whatever, let the shoplifter go? Hmm. Let us know. But yeah, why would you do that? <clears throat> Literally. It's like your job, I mean, First not, off, your job's not that serious. I'm not saying that, but like, no, it's, but you're also like not a first response. You're not a in <laughs> law enforcement. It's not even a. She didn't even like because you know like citizens arrest, right? Like yeah, it wasn't even that. She just hit him. She committed a crime. Well, too. that's what I'm saying is like she risked. Now she's getting sued, or he's pressing charges. I mean, so she risked her own you job, know, job, as future, well. whatever. In order to knock this dude off. Maybe they had like beef or something. Maybe there's more of the story. Maybe they had beef in the store and we don't yeah. know about it. That's true. That, I feel like that still doesn't justify, you know, yeah, you know, running into somebody who yeah, has no. chips in their, in their bag. I mean, I'm surprised he didn't like not. hit her or like go at her. Crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. Since I became a parent, I have realized the importance of a bedtime routine. It is absolutely crucial to your child getting sleep and you getting sleep. 
And everyone has kind of a different routine and what works for them, what things their children likes, the order you do things, but consistency is key. And one thing that we have used since our daughter was born is the hatch rest. This is just my theory, and I'm sure there's some science to it, but I think that there's something to be said about having a consistent noise in the room that signals them that it's time to go to bed. And we always have white noise in our daughter's room pretty much 24-7 unless she's playing in there. I can't say enough good things about the hatch rest. We love it so much. We travel with it. I just went on a trip and I packed the whole thing in my suitcase. And the new and improved second generation hatch rest makes sleep better and more magical for your entire family. The all-in-one hatch rest is a smart sleep device with a sound machine and nightlight that grows with your kids. And what's cool, and I haven't gotten to this stage yet, but toddlers and kids can actually use the hatch rest to help build sleep independence with color and sound cues. The time for bed pairing alerts tell them that it's time to wind down for the night. And in the morning, the time to rise signal lets them know that it's okay to get out of bed for the day, keeping those early risers in bed longer. The rest has helped over 3 million babies and parents get restful sleep. It's no wonder that it's consistently a top baby registry item. And I'm telling you, someone told me I needed it. And I'm so thankful that I got it because... It is so crucial in our house. And right now, Hatch is offering our listeners up to 15% off your purchase of a Hatch rest and free shipping at hatch.co slash sesh. So if you're ready for improved sleep for your kids and yourself, go to hatch.co slash sesh to get up to 15% off and free shipping. That's hatch.co slash sesh. Speaking of crazy, next up on CSI, there's a lot of CSIs today, you guys. Hotel manager charged after sucking on guests' toes. (laughs) <laughs> what? what the hell is going on no, I only, gallery? no the reason i'm laughing is because i'm going out of town this weekend and i got an airbnb and i only got a room in an airbnb so, what if that happens so the you? chance of this happening to me are, are greater now and i'm really <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> this is honestly wild okay so basically what happened this happened in downtown nashville and a manager at the hilton hotel was charged with aggravated burglary and assault after he reportedly entered a guest's room and sucked on his toes. <laughs> According to police, 52-year-old David Neal was the night manager at this hotel. Here's his mugshot looking really beautiful. Shouts out to Neil. Imagine this man sucking on your toes. Ew. I mean, I would lose my fucking shit if that happened. Ew. David. Uh, David. Um, no slave it. No slay. God. Crowley likes to add people's, like the word slay to everyone's names. What's my name? Jay Slay. I thought it was Slay Nell. Sl- oh, it is Slay Nell. Slay Nell. Jay Slay? No, it's Slay Nell. It sounds like snail. Slidney? Slay. Slidney. Slay. Ew, it sounds slimy. Slidney. Slidney. Slay. What's mine? Corel Slay. Corel Slay. Oh, I like that. Jen Slay. Slay Oh, yeah, Slay Relly. What's yours then? I don't slay, maybe. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you sound old? <laughs> I am old. I don't slay, maybe. Do you know what slay means? Sydney, what is the definition of slay? When you kick ass at something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah. Or like if you are looking hot. Okay. Or something like when you guys say it in the back, it's like slay, like. Go yes, me. go off, bitch. Like, oh, go off. Go what off. does go off mean? <laughs> Get like hyphy. <laughs> what did you say? You know, like hyphy music. Hyphy? Yeah. Hyphy? Hyphy music. You guys don't know like that? Hype? <laughs> you mean hype? No, hyphy. Hyphy? Yeah. Okay, well, it's it's oh, it's old, but, you know, <laughs> Wait, it's good. Hyphy. How do you spell it? It's not hype, okay? It's H-Y-P-H- Hyphy music. music. It's H-Y-P-H-Y. from the, it's from the yay Why? area. Like the Bay Area, but they call it the yay area. Okay. Okay. Shit. She look was up, right. Look up the song Oh Go. <laughs> no, I no can't. so the, like covered. all these songs, all these songs uh. are 2004, 2006. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fine. It's absolutely fine. No no shame to slay me. <laughs> Hell yeah, slay like, me. Yeah. Slid me. Anyway, this guy also was slaying. <laughs> Not a slay. This was a very big flop. So basically, he used a key card to enter the guest room. This happened on March 30th around 5 a.m. The guest's name was Pete Brennan. And he said that he woke up and found David sucking on (laughs) his toes. He obviously confronted David. um, And he actually ended up recognizing him as the person who had come into his room the day before 
because him and another employee went in to figure out there was some issue with his TV. So he went in to address the TV issue and then somehow was like, oh, shit, Pete is the man I want to be sucking on the toes tonight. I want to suck on Pete's toes. Pete's toes. So gross. Could you? I I mean, that's fucking terrifying. I would be so scared. Oh, my God. Imagine. No, literally, like, what would you do if you woke up and somebody was sucking on them toes? Ew. I would be, like, screaming. I don't I, want anyone to suck on mouth. my toes. <laughs> Not even Jared? No. <laughs> no? No, suck, no toe sucking for you? No. <clears throat> I'll suck your toes. Ew, please. <laughs> it just sounds would so Would you gross. rather suck someone's toes or have someone suck your own toes? Uh... Probably have someone suck my toes. <laughs> totally. I'm not sucking someone's toes. Ew, like their corns. And like their fur on their toes. <laughs> Ew, Ew, sick. Gross. I'm just thinking of toe jam. I literally have goosebumps. <laughs> what about you, Carly? Would you rather be the sucker or the sucky? I'd rather be the sucky. <laughs> Same. I don't want to suck anybody's toes. Thank Same. you. Same. Sick. Anyway, so obviously the dude calls the cops because he's like, what the fucking hell is going on? And David actually admitted to entering the guest room. Um, but he said that the reason he had to do it was because he smelled smoke and wanted to go and check on he Pete. So smoke on his toes? <laughs> no, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, sorry, I smelled smoke. So I, so I just gotta, I just gotta, ta- I just gotta take out this fire and then accidentally suck on this dude's toes. <laughs> My mouth fell on your toes. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> it was so disgusting. Um, but it's interesting because he obviously like didn't report the smell of smoke to security. Um, nor were there any reports of smoke smell in the hotel. So that was a complete lie. This is so gross. The room key was not recovered. An investigator said David claimed he threw the key away. Then David was arrested and jailed. And David had- was arrested? Not- oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, David. Sorry. Not Pete. Not- or Pete. No, Pete, 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 Pete. Pete is the victim in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he was on a $27,000 bond. And P obviously filed a lawsuit against the hotel telling people that his lawyers found David has a lengthy criminal history. So that's fucking great. I wonder if he's like a reoffender because his bond is so high. So I wonder if he's like, if he's like assaulted or like done this yeah, shit probably. to other, to other um, yeah. guests. Ew, uh, the toe sucker in town. The town's toe sucker. <laughs> Imagine that being your reputation. I know I'm like making fun of it. Like this is like obviously kind of funny, but also like fucking creepy as right. fuck. That's well, also so like gross. not like and such not an invasion shaming, of privacy. Not shaming like anyone's like, you know, foot fetishes, but also this was not consensual in any way. So we're shaming David. Yes. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. No, screw David. He like totally fucking like harassed him. And that's so creepy and gross. Whoa. So it looks like David has uh, multiple charges of forgery, drinking and driving, a manslaughter conviction, as well as served time in prison. Thank so you. I missed a, that part. He is a, he is a, a multiple offender. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's disgusting. The um, hotel claimed that they didn't know that he had like all these prior charges and stuff. And so now they have to do like background checks and why weren't they doing that in the first place? Yeah. It's a little strange why you wouldn't be doing that to begin with. Especially if someone's going to have, like, someone's key to their room. You know what I mean? You have so much power as manager, too. So it's like, ugh. You would think that that's required. I think it is at most jobs. I think they 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 typically do background check you. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I feel like that's pretty normal. Yeah. And you also usually have to, like, disclose in, like, your... um Your application. Yeah, if you have, like, a criminal record of any sort. Mm-hmm. It's usually just felonies, I think it asks you've been convicted of any oh yeah of any felonies. yeah you're right yeah but yeah i guess the hotel was basically like oh we can't like speak on this behalf because the hotel itself is independently owned hilton spokesperson told reporters quote the safety and security of our guests and team members is our highest priority we are working closely with the metropolitan nashville police department and as part of company policy we do not comment on ongoing investigations disgusting i need paris hilton to comment on this Huh? I need Paris Hilton to comment on this on this matter. Why? Because it's a Hilton hotel. Oh, wait, she owned that? Yeah, that's her that's her family's business. I'm not joking. Are you joking? No. That's, wait, are you serious? Absolutely. Oh my god, I'm wait, so really? dumb. Paris Hilton owns Hilton Hotels. Yes, hold on. You me... guys. No. Uh, I thought that was just like a coincidence that her name was Hilton. No, she's a she's an heiress. Her great grandfather. Um, founded Hilton Hotels. Oh. oh my god, the more oh, it's like the Tipton Hotel. It's literally like, like London Tipton. Paris I get it. Hilton. Paris. Oh, 
Wait, wow. you're joking, Janelle, right? You're literally joking. No, I'm you're not. joking. No, what? No, you're joking. I was gonna, I was gonna make that reference, and I'm like, she obviously knows. <laughs> Paris Hilton, London, Tipton, London, Paris. <laughs> Why did you think Paris Hilton was famous? Or how did you think she I got famous? Know. Dude, I don't know anything about Paris Hilton. <laughs> no. I have, no, isn't she an actor? No. She, have she, you just, seen her act? She acts in something. <laughs> so she's just like rich and famous. She like was born into money. Absolutely. Yes. So I wish I was an heiress. Kim. Sounds fun as hell. I wish I was. <laughs> Title heiress. Sounds fun. I mean, Aries is an heiress. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not an Aries. But, you know. We know you're not an Aries. Sagittarius. <laughs> Just kidding. I love Sagittarius's. You guys are fun and wild. We're so wild. Some of, sometimes. Sometimes you're not, though. Sometimes I'm very mild. Yes. Mild and wild. Anyways, toe sucking. Don't do it. Don't condone it. This is I mean, unless you're into it. Then suck all the toes or be sucked all you want. I think it's consensually. Great. Consent, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you're into it, that's great. Or your well, own yeah. toes. You, ew. Yeah. Do you guys bite off your toenails? Remember we had that conversation? You <laughs> fucking Kendall, three Kendall. freaks. <laughs> yeah. You no, three. I, I never did. I, I promise. I never you, sucked I, on my toes. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, I didn't bite my toenails. Either. You didn't. I thought you were the. I thought I was the only one that said no. No, I just I didn't I didn't comment because I was not. I mean, <laughs> I, no. You pled the fifth. I that's because fifth. you did. No, I swear I literally no. I never sucked my toes. I never put my toes in my mouth. I never <laughs> ate my nails. Yeah, I never bit off my toenails. Cindy was really into it. <laughs> it might be a Taurus thing because both you and Kendall, toenail biters. Sick, we were, sick. Yeah. How old curious you? kids. I don't Curious care. kids. <laughs> Do you guys ever smell your toenails? <laughs> yeah, I feel like people smell their podcast. feet. No, like after you cut your toenails, you were like, hey, God. wait, it went around. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> You do? No, I was, I was gonna say I'm gonna say something else. You eat your toenails? Absolutely you... not. <laughs> 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 no. What? I do sometimes uh, lick my toe jam though. Look at it. Look. Look. I thought you said lick <laughs> look it. At it. Look like, at it. Wait, what the hell is a toe jam? You know when you pick out your toe? Your, yeah. When you oh you like inspect it yeah, after? Yeah. yeah. That's like I don't. I mean I don't really put it near my face. You smell it though. I have a four. I like smelling smelling piercings. Okay, this is such a nasty fucking mess. Do this. He doesn't want to get into it. You know what? You know that piercing. If you have a piercing out there, you you know what it smells like. Ew, I hate that smell. Bell Ash smells like like your belly button piercing. Yeah. Can I make a comparison? Does it ever happen on your nose since your nose is pierced? Oh yeah. You're like "Mm, cheesy, (laughs) (laughs) cheesy. (laughs) (laughs) No, yeah. Um, I have to. I have to like clean them or take them out every so often. Um, sick. I wonder why it's a cheesy smell. Probably right. bacteria. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Well. It reminds me of like the cheese in like a mac and cheese box. Like when you smell the bag of cheese, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting worse and worse. <laughs> oh my God. That I is goosebumps. What the fuck is wrong with us? Don't judge us in the comments. We don't want to hear it. We already know. I already know I'm a gross ass person. Okay. As a parent, your top priority is always your children's well-being. You want to give them everything they need to grow and thrive, both now and in the future. And with term life insurance from Fabric by Gerber Life, help protect your family so their future is secure, no matter what happens. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high-quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. And Fabric's new, lower prices could mean potentially significant savings over other providers, with great quality policies like a million dollars in coverage for less than a dollar a day. And life insurance can obviously have a bad rap for being very complicated, but Fabric makes it easy to apply with its seamless digital experience. It's all online and on your time. And if you need extra support, Fabric's team of licensed insurance agents can answer questions along the way. One thing that I love about Fabric Life Insurance is that it is so quick and easy to use. It takes less than 10 minutes to apply, see your quote, and then personalize your quote to fit your family's needs. And you could be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required. Fabric has partnered with Gerber Life, which has been trusted by millions of families like yours for over 50 years. And what's great is Fabric has a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can cancel at any time. And it's at meetfabric.com slash sesh. That's meetfabric.com slash sesh. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash sesh. Policies issued by Western Southern Life Assurance Company, not available in certain states. Prices subject to underwriting and health questions. We have an update. On old Georgie Porgy putting in pie. He just can't stop. You know what I mean? Like he's just, he, he's just incapable of fucking stopping. <laughs> okay. Um, this happened a while ago, but 
there's been tons of updates like happening every single week. So we figured we would just talk about all of it. Georgie Porgy, pudding in pie. On May 9th, federal prosecutors filed criminal charges against George Santos. We've talked about him many times. He lied about his mom being a 9-11 survivor. He stole puppies and his friends. Very expensive scarf. Stole money raised to save a dying dog's life. Who I think was a veteran's dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, that's great. Lied about paying volley- playing volleyball in college. And now he's being charged with all kinds of federal crimes. On May 10th, he was taken into custody and is expected to appear in federal court. And he was charged with 13 charges, seven counts of wire fraud, three counts of money laundering, one count of theft of public funds, and two counts of making materially false statements to the House of Representatives. He obviously pled not guilty, and he was released on a $500,000 bond, and he's set to go back to court June 30th. This dude is off the chain like what are you doing you like, like such off a boomer the chain, he's off oh, the chain but not in a good way like <laughs> right right right, right. <laughs> oh yeah that's like a compliment huh? yeah. this bitch is off the chain no this bitch is this bitch is on, be, the on the chain he needs to be chained he needs to be you chained you do say that all the time Cindy. off the chain yeah like i'm Cindy, off my, how old are you she's 30 dude, a lot of people say off the chain or you off say, my rocker or hold your horses yeah Hold your horses. Duh. <laughs> Hold your horses. <laughs> yeah, so George is like a new kid on the block. He was elected last year to represent uh, certain parts of LA, or pff, LA, where the hell did that come from? New York, including Long Island and Queens. He's being accused of breaking c- campaign finance laws, violating federal conflict of interest laws, stealing cash meant for like the veterans dying dog, like we had said. And also, he's, like, in some credit card scheme. He's lying about where he went to school, where he worked. Like, the dude is lying constantly. He has so many fucking lies. We can't keep track of them all. Um, yeah, he said that he, yes, he has some misleading claims about his education and financial status, but doesn't admit to any of the more serious allegations. What's interesting is a lot of the Republican Party is, like, wants him out. I mean, not all of them, but they're kind of, like, distancing themselves from him. And then they are, of course, being like, we had no idea that he had this like crazy, sketchy past and all this shit. But of course, he doesn't want to leave office and he is wanting to remain uh, in office and then run for re-election next year as he fights the charges. So this is kind of interesting, kind of confusing, but I'm trying to explain this in a way that makes sense. So basically, the Democrats came forward and are like, we want him out and we want him expelled. And so the House actually voted to send it to the Ethics Committee. Instead of going to the DOJ. Right. And uh, this did pass. They got enough votes. So he is going to the Ethics Committee. And it's weird because he was one of the people that voted for himself to go to the Ethics Committee. The Republicans are saying that the reason why they want it to go through the Ethics Committee is because, A, if it went through the DOJ, it would take a long time and then they would probably commit him. So the Ethics Committee is a lot quicker they say kevin mccarthy actually said quote we have a responsibility of our own he's been indicted we have not done anything prior to the investigation the investigation is done now the justice department can do their court um but i don't want to wait around for how long a court case could take and so that's why they sent him to the ethics committee or sent this whole expulsion whatever to the ethics committee um and obviously, if George was expelled and kicked out, then this would ruin the four seat majority, Republican four seat majority, until a special election can be held. And obviously, another GOP would not be guaranteed. So that's why I think they don't want him to be kicked out because then they run the risk of a Democrat going in and then they don't have a major- majority. <sighs> it's all very complicated. The Ethics Committee opened an investigation into Santos back in February, but it was unclear what, if any, investigative actions they have taken since. The panel does not comment publicly, obviously, so we don't really know what's going on, but um, I don't know. We'll see. After they blocked the vote on expulsion, the Republicans, George went and wrote them all thank you cards. He said, I want to personally thank you for your support in referring the vote for my expulsion to the Ethics Committee. This has been an especially difficult time in my life and i want to serve my constituents the best i can (laughs) this guy's a loser this is where it gets crazy though guys right after this happened msnbc's 
Ari Melber shared on Twitter a clip of George mocking and intimidating Jewish people from Long Island. Which, okay, by the way, the reason why this is filmed is because this filmmaker, his name is Blake Zeff. He had spent like months, I guess, talking with George for a potential documentary. So he had like all this footage and it got leaked. <laughs> with a lot of Jews here. <laughs> it's, just, it, it, it's funny when the isms start coming out, right? Oh, she, you're, he's such a man. She's such a man. I don't want him to die to say it. Oh, that's the point. So they it, think it's really bad. But anyway, I sit in a room with a lot of... Isn't that so bad? Wow. So a little anti-Semitism from old George. That's really nice. Not really shocking, though, sadly. Um, and then that guy, Blake, he actually tweeted that the documentary was ultimately scrapped because Santos wanted a lot of money for his participation in the project. Um, and so, yeah, that's just another great thing on George's resume. Dude, that guy is such a loser. Also, um, the following day after his Twitter thing leaked, uh, George appeared virtually in a Brazilian court to face separate charges because um, Brazilian prosecutors alleged that he used a fake name and a stolen checkbook to buy random things like tennis shoes. He faced charges in a suburb outside Rio de Janeiro on al allegations he stole checks to buy clothing and other items in 2008. He was formally charged in 2011, but authorities lost track of him until he became a U.S. congressman in 2022. George actually ended up signing a deal with the Brazilian prosecutors um, and he said that he would confess and agree to pay almost 5000 in fines and restitution in exchange for dropping the charges. So he, he slithered his way out of that one. He really is a little snake, isn't he's he? Such like, a he's snake. such a snake. He really is getting out of all of this. And it's like, dude, you are the worst liar, first of all. Why is he lying about everything? And this dude yeah. has so so many skeletons in his claws, like do, doing like, the weirdest shit. Also, why would you want to be in front of people? Like, why would you want to be a congressman? Yeah. Right? Right. When, or a representative when you have so many fucking skeletons. It's like, dude, go live under a rock or something. I don't know. Live like under a rock. <laughs> no, seriously. He sucks, dude. I don't know what to say. I honestly hope he gets charged. He's such a loser. Anyways, okay. Um, I guess that's enough about George. I want to get into this crazy story. So for such a long time, I have been curious about skims and I've really wanted to try them because all their stuff looks very comfortable. And I finally tried their Fits Everybody collection and I genuinely love their stuff. Skims is creating the next generation of underwear for every body. They have super soft fabric that fits well and comes in great colors. And for all you small chesty girlies out there like me, I love the fact that their bralettes provide a nice lift for your girls. They give me a good lift while being really comfortable still. And they also don't show under your clothes, which is a giant pet peeve of mine. I hate when bras and underwear especially show under my clothes and I don't have that problem with skims. And also I love the fact that all of their straps are adjustable so I can make sure that I get the perfect fit for my bras. Right now I'm wearing their racerback bralette, which is so, so comfortable. I actually forgot I was even wearing a bra, which I do not say, honestly, most of the time. I am not really a bra lover, but Skims is very, very comfortable. The Fits Everybody collection of underwear is super lightweight and molds to your body. The butterfly soft fabric stretches twice its size without ever losing shape, meaning you get a perfect fit every time. And they're available in sizes extra, extra small to 4X. Believe the hype, Skims has over 90,000 five-star reviews for a reason. The Fits Everybody collection and more perfect fit essentials are available now at skims.com. Plus, get free shipping on orders over $75. And after you place your order, be sure to let them know we sent you. Select podcast in the survey and be sure to select our show in the drop-down menu that follows. Okay, so this next story, like I said, is actually so crazy. It's about this vlog couple so their names are bella and dallin and their channel is called della vlogs and they're pretty big on youtube i had never heard of them but i think they have like well over a million subscribers and they've been doing it for a long time so basically what happened is they they're this couple and they've been wanting to they have yeah 1.43 mil subscribers so anyways, they have been trying to have this have a baby and get pregnant for a long time. Um, they went through IVF treatments. They've struggled with infertility and they've been wanting a kid so bad. And then I think eventually like the IVF didn't take. And so they've been looking into adoption and they eventually came out and said that they wanted to adopt. And um, 
I believe they asked their audience like, hey, if you know of any, if anyone out there is pregnant and looking to place their child into adoption or into a new family, um, you know, let us know because we're looking to adopt. And sure enough, someone actually ended up reaching out to them and saying that they were pregnant with twin girls and that they were looking for someone to adopt the girls. And so they they were kind of like DMing for a while. And then shortly after they, which by the way, this whole thing is like documented on their YouTube channel. I'll link the um, video down below so you can watch it. But anyways, they eventually go and they meet this girl. They're from Arizona and this girl is from California. And so they meet up and they were like very convinced that it was like the real deal. And they were so excited. And um, you can see on their vlog that they put out, they have like all this footage of them telling their parents and their friends and their family. And it was like so sweet. They were so excited about it. They were finally going to be parents and everything. Um, and it all seemed very legit and, you know, like it was really going to happen. And um, during this whole process, the woman who was pregnant had requested them to go ahead and get like a nursery going and ready for the twins because it would make her feel more comfortable if she knew that like, oh, they have a good place to go. Um, and then also because when you're pregnant with twins, a lot of times they're delivered early. And so she said that her doctor was telling her that she's most likely going to deliver early um, and so she wanted to make sure that the nursery was like totally ready and, and good to go. And the twins came. So there's like vlog footage of the fam of this couple, um, like shopping for baby stuff and getting their nursery ready to go. Like they're just so excited. You can see it on footage. It's, it's so sweet. They were like thrilled. They even, um, did a gender reveal for like, even though they knew they were having twin girls, they did a gender reveal for their, uh, family and friends and there's footage of that as well and I guess that one of the reasons that they did this is because the person who was pregnant um, like mentioned how it would mean a lot to her if uh, they did a gender reveal because she felt like she was kind of missing out on some of the like really exciting events you do typically when you get pregnant like gender reveal and baby shower and all that kind of stuff so they went and did like this huge gender reveal like it was like a huge deal and all their friends and family were there so excited. So everything is like going really well. And they're like thrilled that they're going to have this, these two twin girls. And they even did private birthing classes with her. And um, the woman even asked if Bella and Dallin would be in the room while she delivered the twins, because I guess she didn't have like a ton of um, like family in her life or something. And so she basically asked if they would be there and of course they said yes they were like so excited they did the birthing classes like i said they lived in different states so um bell and dallin in their vlog were talking about how they would fly i think they did like nine classes or something nine weeks of classes and they would fly to california to meet the woman and do the classes with them like they were very invested and like fully committed to adopting these two baby girls Dallin got this email from this person and basically said she sent these these pictures saying this was the gender reveal of her babies to several and I mean several families thinking they have a chance to adopt her twins. I'm in a group of hopeful ad adoptive parents and we all have been talking with her and she's telling everyone that they are at the top of her list. Please hear us out. Here's my number. I'm so sorry. She's playing you guys. She's talking to like 10 different agencies. Please give us a chance to share our stories. We don't want you guys to be swindled. So at first they're like, what the hell is this email? And they kind of like weren't sure if it was legit or not, but they end up getting on the phone. So she gets a DM of the same thing saying like, this is these pictures are being sent to a bunch of different families. The same exact person is like telling all these people, like, I want you to adopt my twins. And so they're like, obviously starting to freak out right now. And, um, they, they realize that she's scamming them, but not only that. So then this other family who they had also, you know, been in contact with this woman claiming she was pregnant or whatever, goes on Facebook and posts on a group. The group is called Ending Adoption Scams and was trying to see if anyone recognized this person or if she was scamming anyone out there. And sure enough, there were tons of people in that group that were saying that they were also talking to her. So now like tons of people are talking to the same woman who is trying to adopt out her twins. And basically 
they find out that this person was not only talking to multiple families about potentially placing her twins with them, but that she wasn't even pregnant. This woman was faking the whole thing. And so they get on the phone with her and they're like, you know, trying to confront her essentially. And one of the things they do is they send her this picture that, you know, back when, I don't know, this was like months ago or whatever, she was claiming that she was 26 weeks pregnant. She sent Bella this selfie of her at a rodeo. And it's just like from like chest up. So you can't see the stomach or anything. But she was talking about how she's at this rodeo and she's showing off her bump and, you know, all is well or whatever. And meanwhile, she ended up sending another picture from that same exact day to a different family. And in this picture, her whole body is showing and she has no bump. And she was claiming to this family that she was only five or six weeks pregnant, which would make sense why you wouldn't have a bump. But it's the same it's this picture is taken on the same exact day that she sent the Bella and uh, Dallin couple the picture of her being like, oh, I'm 26 weeks pregnant and my bump is out showing. So basically, that's how they figured out, like, clearly something's not adding up because you can't be 26 weeks pregnant and not showing it all. And they try to tell her that. And she was like, oh, well, it was a different day. And they're like, it's literally not it's the same. You know, you're wearing the same outfit. You're at the rodeo, whatever. So then she tried to be like, oh, no, I was sucking in. and that's why you don't see the bump or whatever, but that's total BS. Like at 26 weeks pregnant with twins, like you're going to be showing. Um, wasn't it too that they were able to confirm it was the same day because she was wearing the necklace that Bella yes. gave her? Yes, that's another thing. They also found out that um, it was around... Because she was like, oh, this picture was taken like months before. And right, they're like, that's right. not possible because in one of the pictures, actually in both the pictures, you can see that she has this necklace on and Bella had given her that necklace like a few days prior. So they were like, it wasn't a long time ago because you didn't have that necklace. You're wearing the necklace in the picture. It was on the date that it was actually taken that you sent it to me. And so they just confirmed like she wasn't pregnant. And so obviously you're probably wondering like how the hell did these people who met her in person multiple times went to birthing classes like got ultrasounds from her had a gender reveal for her with that woman there like she went to the gender reveal as well how did they not know that she wasn't pregnant turns out that she was wearing a fake bump the whole time literally went on fake ultrasounds.com which is a website and bought fake ultrasounds and then like you know, put her name on them or whatever, doctored them up to make them seem real. So she literally was scamming them this entire time. And what's so weird about the whole thing, if that wasn't weird enough, is the fact that like there was no money involved at this point. So they didn't it, like it's not like she was trying to scam them of, of like a bunch of money or anything she, like the, it's like, why would you do that? You're not really gaining anything. Um they thought that maybe she was like some fan that just wanted to get close to them. But I don't think that's the case because she had been doing this to other random families for, you know, longer than she was doing this to them. So it sounds like she's just like some fucking evil person yeah. who's like going around to people who are desperately wanting kids. This family was so or this couple was so excited to have the chance finally to have a baby. And they I guess their dream, they said, was to have twin girls anyways. So. They're like, this is literally a dream come true, like the greatest blessing ever. You know, after months and months of trying IVF and it not working and not being able to get pregnant, they finally, you know, have this like miracle happen. And someone reaches out and is like, yeah, we I'm pregnant with twin girls and I want to adopt them out to you guys. And she's been doing this to like tons of other families. It's, it's literally her, so evil. It's awful. I mean, I uh, well, after watching their video... I know you like said this, but yeah, it was, it was like it's painful to watch because you know they you can you can just like all the family members' reactions yeah. and like that was those were the ultrasounds that she had like sent them or whatnot and they're mm -hmm. just fake and yep. like they literally go through all of their family and friends and do like the reaction video of like telling them you know I, I just yeah I think when they found out that this wasn't that this was all scam was very close to when this person was supposed to be due so, so, yeah. like and, i think that i don't know the, exactly the timeline but i'm quite positive it was like you know weeks away from 
from this woman giving birth and they were about to have their babies. It's so bad. Well, also the fact that they completely like did a nursery for them and had yes. everything ready for them. It's like, it's like, that's, I don't know. I feel what's the, what's the that's point? like an emotional, it's an emotional scam. It's so traumatic. Yeah. Especially because, yeah, like I said, they've been trying so hard to get pregnant forever. It wasn't working. And they finally wanted to do adoption and all this shit happens. Um, Bella was talking about in the video how she hasn't even gone into the nursery since she found out. She's like, I just don't even want to go in there. It's so depressing. Like depressing yeah. and like awkward. It's not even the right word for it. But it's like, okay, I have this whole nursery set up. And she's like, I have two cribs and, you know, two pairs of clothes and two car seats and two of everything. And everything's all cute in there and ready to go. And I was so excited. And turns out it's not even happening. Like there yeah. is no baby. There is no babies. There are no babies. That, I think that's what's like the... I mean, either way, like, obvi obviously, like, I'm just saying the fact that they, like, thought these humans, they weren't even, they don't exist. Right. Just, like, you know, so uh, we have some friends that um, we, like, knew them going through it. It's so hard and s it takes such a long time. And the for the fact that they were, like, this lady reached out to them, they usually have, like, a portfolio and, like, yeah. a parent will pick, I mean, it's, like, a. It's really years process. sometimes to, yeah. to go through adoption. Oh, my, totally. And so I can't even imagine what they were, you know, they're finally like, wow, this seems like too good to be it true. It literally landed right in their hands. Right. And didn't right. didn't she make a comment like that? Like saying like, oh, like it, it kind of felt a little bit too, too good to be too true. Too good to be true. And like that sucks. It's like sometimes those things do happen. And, mm -hmm. you know, like you can't really discount that they were swindled like yeah and it's like i think from an outsider you could be like okay well how did you not know because yeah like you said it's very hard to get approved for adoption it takes forever you have to go through classes you have to yeah. like you know prove essentially that you're capable yeah. of having you have to, like just tell, show everything yeah, you have in to, your life like you're right. completely exposed almost and mm. then it's expensive too yeah. so you would think like okay well how would they not know this but i th i think if you put yourself in their shoes they're so desperate to have these kids and they know that they have a following. So someone reached out to them and was like, yo, I have, I'm pregnant. And like, I could understand how you'd be kind of swindled and yeah. kind of like she put on your like blinders of like, you know, maybe it's too good to be true, but like, oh my gosh, you know, your like, overwhelming excitement just kind of like takes over and you don't even really let yourself, you know, believe that it's, it's fake or yeah. it's a scam. And I, I think in their video, um, Dallin was saying at one point when he was being sent pictures of the sonograms that are the ultrasounds that, um, the, you know, the names, her name wasn't in there and he was kind of like questioning that. And she was like, oh, I'm just taking it out for privacy reasons. But then I guess at some point he was like, well, like, I think he almost like, I don't know if he made the joke to her, but he kind of like made the joke in the video, like, oh, well, let make, make sure you prove that the. You know, ultrasounds are real and that you're really pregnant. And, you know, that's, I think, why she went and got the, like, doctored up ultrasounds, like, paid for them, which you can do. I didn't even know you could do that, but I guess it makes sense. You can pay for anything. And then, like, put her name on it and wore a fake bump I know, to a I think, whole gender. That's so fucked up. Well, and birthing have a, classes? Like, birthing classes? Like, this, all these experiences and... I would have been convinced. Like, totally. I, yeah. I would have 100, 100%. And you're going to go think. to that length? I know. What was she? I'm, I'm wondering what was she planning to do. I know. I was wondering that too. Because there's no, there was no money involved, and the average cost to adopt a child is twenty five thousand to forty five thousand dollars. So the fact that she hadn't like requested, maybe she had, but whatever. Like maybe they didn't had, they haven't, they hadn't paid her. No, like that's that what they said that there was no finan finances in the mix. It's so bad. I feel so bad for these people. And oh. all these other people that she's scamming. Yeah. She's done this to like a bunch of families. It's It'd be bad enough if she really was pregnant and she's like running around to all these families being like, oh, I choose you or whatever. And then like it turns out all these families are like, wait, yeah. she's been telling that she chooses us and, and you and you and you. But then to go ex like on the further extent and just have, you don't even, you're not even pregnant to begin with. Like that is so evil. It should be illegal. I don't think it is. Because she didn't, there's no, you know, she didn't steal anything from them. There's no money being exchanged. It's morally Yeah, it's just corrupt. It's, morally, it's just morally wrong, yeah. You know, um, Bella did mention the, she said the only, like, uh, 
instance where money was exchanged was of one of the families gave her two hundred dollars for maternity clothes. Right. Yep. I remember. Which is like a gift. So right. it's not necessarily there's not no like transaction. Ex- right. I guess another thing too would be like like t- she's being taken care of by all these families. So maybe there was a, like a monetary you know kind of yeah scam involved. That's true. I don't know like who was paying for the birthing classes. I'm sure that it was the- Bella and. I would assume or or like the gender. I'm sure she didn't pay for the gender reveal or whatever. Well, also, but. the fact that they flew into California every for whatever long for yeah. however long to do the birthing classes. It's like that. I mean, they did lose money at the end of the totally, day. Yeah. But yeah, like gender reveal was freaking. It was lit. Insane. Like, they had like a cotton candy and like a, a shave ice machine oh, and that's like sucks. these bubbles and stuff. And I just feel bad because that's like such a informative time in your life. And these memories that you're making are, you know, you're going to last a lifetime. And now, even if they do get pregnant or they end up adopting or whatever, and they have, you know, these gender reveals again, or telling their parents that they're pregnant and their friends are not pregnant, but like, you know, adopting kids or whatever, and their friends and everything. Like, if you do that again, when it actually is happening, I would imagine you'd still like have this part of you that's like very hesitant and almost oh, yeah. scarred to like do it again. And you feel like your first time got ruined because this person traumatized you. Yeah. Going back to like private adoptions, it wasn't that like as the parents, like I w- also wouldn't think anything because private adoptions haven't happened all the time. Like it's, you, yeah. it's, you don't necessarily need to have an agency involved. A lot of the times... You don't? No, because um, according to... I thought to, it had to be like leak. Because what happens if you're well, like, that's when, if you that, like that's shake when hands attorneys, on it? That's when like attorneys and like and lawyers and stuff come become involved. But you can do a private adoption without having an adoption agency. Um, uh-huh. This is private or independent adoption involves a direct placement between the birth mother and the prospective adoptive parents without a use of agency or no agency fees. An agency adoption involves placing or adopting a child through a licensed uh, child's place agency. Uh-huh. Most states um, permit private adoption but some states require that legal procedure for the adoption proceeds through an adoption agency okay yeah i was gonna so, say it's so, i feel like you have to have more than just a handshake right, right right well i mean you need you need like the like you need to have lawyers and stuff involved to like sign over custody and you right. know like all that but right, right. yeah i don't know i mean like think about like you know when like let's say like somebody's aunt were to adopt you sure. or something you know what i mean like that's right. a private adoption yeah. so fucked up i feel so bad for them honestly like they just seemed so heartbroken. I can't imagine like going through this whole, you know, it'd be one thing if it was like for a few weeks or a right. month, but, like you have months and this person's like, you're texting them all the time. She was sending the, there's like screenshots of their text messages of the woman um, sending messages like, oh, I just woke up from a nap and I had this, I never dreamed, but I had this vivid dream of me handing my uh the babies to you guys and you guys being there and it was so beautiful and i can't wait for that moment like really playing into this which is very bizarre like and i agree like what were you planning to do right when oh time's up okay you're like well past your due date where babies. where's the kids yeah you know what i mean Ugh, i just yeah i feel so bad like imagine too like you know if you're gonna be a parent i'm ass- i'm assuming uh, not all everyone would be like this but the conversations that you know, they had together, yeah. Dallin and Bella, like, talking about how they're going to start this family. Mm-hmm. Just, like, the emotional. Oh, my God. I, did, I feel so bad for them. You have to be fucking, like, you have to, there's something wrong with you. If, like, you're talking about, like, you're you're giving, you're giving so a prospective evil. parent so much hope and so much, yeah. you know, giving them everything they want to hear. And it's like, you're not even fucking pregnant. Like, that is so, like. Are you, like, are you getting off on that? Like, I know. It's so like, bizarre. Like, it's so bizarre. I hope that person feels horrible for this if they can't like get in legal trouble i just hope that they feel like a piece of shit forever because that is a shitty thing to do not only to them but to all those other families too so bad and that's interesting that there's like whole facebooks that are dedicated to yeah like you know exposing adoption scams there's facebook groups for everything that's i'm in true. a i'm in a facebook group um called are we dating the same the same person oh, oh, i've yeah. heard that that's yeah. a big thing it is like, i mean just because like denver dating like that's hilarious I, it is spicy on there really? so oh smart. my god you no know, yeah like and like people like post like hey like i'm talking to this person like does anybody have any tea on them or like any red flags or anything what if you popped up on there like well that, this, when they it, saw themselves i'd be like fuck it's like people like cheat like cheating people though like and yeah you, 
Also, like, people, people... Well, what if they're like, oh, yeah, I went on a date with them. They fucking sucked. Well, a lot of the time, it's, like, more, like, a little bit more intense than that. Like, a lot of a lot of people will put, like, hey, like, red flag day to this guy, you know, was sexually aggressive or whatever. Oh, you know shit. what I mean? Like, it's it's more, like, to help, intense like, thing. Like, yeah, just to kind of, like, put oh, a warning. I thought it was, like, a burn book. No, not a burn. No. I was like, damn. No. Or, like, you would post a photo, like, say, of a guy or, or a girl, and you basically, like, does anyone know anything yeah, like, about a, this. like i'm gonna go on a date yeah. with this person is there any tea like Aww. should i know anything okay am i safe <laughs> gotcha got oh i actually think that's good that they have that I yeah like that. yeah yeah that's yeah that's not you can, a, you can still go on there if you ever if you're in a relationship yeah. it's, it's just fun to read yeah 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 i downloaded um what's it called hinge what like, <laughs> wait for this, your well this was like a, over a year and a half ago or something it was or no it was longer than that. oh no it was hinge because my friend was moving here but she was still living in Virginia at the time and she, you like couldn't change your location or whatever. But she was like, I want to know what's going on over there. So I downloaded it for her and like made a profile for her. And then I was like swiping. I was like, what about this guy? Yes or no. And I was like swipe for her. It was funny. But they got like the dating apps are funny. Like I could see oh, how it'd be funny. really fun. Are you like on there every day? Like I'd be if I was single, I'd just be like scrolling like. um, Or do you get on like I get on it's like certain like certain points in my life yeah so, you know. like <laughs> certain like binges i guess you could say yeah like i mean a, bin, a hinge bin a hinge binge hinge. um no like I'm, i don't go on there every day but like if i'm bored and have nothing else to do if i'm not busy yeah um yeah it's, it's fun to swipe left and right hmm. yeah they just have that for like friends they do bumble has that oh yeah bumble has friends i was on there a few years ago and i didn't make any friends so oh shit don't recommend <laughs> no friends for you Maybe it's a you problem. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I have no friends. You have tons of friends. What are you talking about? You're like yeah. always doing shit. Social Sagittarius. <laughs> I used to be social. Yeah. What yeah. happened? You got old. I got old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In college, I was Yeah. Social. You were cool in, in college. She's yeah. not cool now. <laughs> nope. I'm not anymore. Just kidding. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm just kidding. No, I think I just cool. made my good friends and now I'm like. Uh, True. I give you props. It's good. I personally am exhausted after. I no. don't like the idea of meeting new people because I get like really weird and like Same. don't know what to do. <laughs> but then like once I warm up to people and I like them, I'm like, oh, I'm glad I met you. Like you're cool. I'd hang out with you yeah. again and stuff. But like if I go into a place where I don't know anyone, I get fucking weird. So oh, yeah, like initially like when... I just stand there in the corner like. <laughs> One thing I really want to do and like put myself just like get myself out of my comfort zone is like book either like do some kind of class like pottery class by yourself yeah by myself and just yeah, like for you just because i mean at this like living alone and stuff like i kind of i can't be awkward like yesterday for example um my apartment complex had a puppy party a puppy so party cute. and i really wanted to go but i don't have a dog so i'm like yeah. i don't want to go down there with no dog and be like hey, hey. can i just can I, <laughs> put your dog can I put your dog <laughs> especially because like i would want to be there more for the dogs than for the people yeah so i was just like that would be really weird if i went down there but no i'm like should have brought your cat. I should have brought Jasper <laughs> on our like, little leash. Hey guys, it's my dog. <laughs> See, I never went to those like apartment oh, get together. I never did anything at my apartment complex ever. No, like I the think... little happy hours. No, and, like oh my god, <laughs> the barbecues or whatever, <laughs> and like no, I never did anything. But when you're a single person, it's it is a really good way to meet people. That's true. And yeah, I mean maybe next time they have a cat party, a kitty party. That'd be cute. A pussy party. A pussy party. <laughs> yeah, just bring your little kitty. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be my kitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Uh, okay. Well, I think that's gonna be it for this week, guys. Um yeah. Let us know your thoughts below. <laughs> I don't know why I fucking said that. That was weird. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're not. I look at the analytics and a lot of you people watching are not subscribed. So get your asses on and subscribe. Also follow us on uh, Apple Podcast and Spotify it really helps our show um, and leave us a review if you have an extra second and that's going to be it this week guys we will see you on the next sesh but until then keep, keep it, it fresh. fresh good job you actually said it with me I said it too I know yeah. <laughs> good job